Mayor Adams doubling down on his executive order, limiting the amount of migrant buses in the city. This as New Jersey officials are speaking out about the influx of migrants now coming to their state. Fox 5's Brayla Tomasetti, she's live at the Roosevelt Hotel Migrant Intake Center in Midtown with the very latest. Brayla, good morning. Good morning to both of you, Dan and Tashani. Yeah, we're used to seeing uh, migrant buses arrive pretty much on a regular basis here in New York City. Now the same exact thing is happening right across the Hudson. Jersey City's Emergency Management Agency reported that uh, for nearly 400 migrants on 10 different buses arrived in the state since Saturday. The mayor of Edison now says he's chartering his own buses to send them right back to the southern border. We're going to pivot and shift and be prepared to send the right message to these bus operators. Mayor Adams is doubling down on his new executive order, which restricts how and when buses carrying migrants can enter the city. The problem is, according to City Hall, not one bus from Texas has complied. Bus operators are using a loophole to drop off Big Apple bound asylum seekers outside of the city and then buying them train tickets back in to avoid being fined or sued. It's happening across several New Jersey cities and suburbs. Buses have dropped off migrants at Secaucus Junction, just a quick ride away from Midtown Manhattan, as well as Edison and Trenton. Governor Murphy said in a statement, New Jersey is primarily being used as a transit point for these families. All or nearly all of them continued with their travels en route to their final destination of New York City. We are closely coordinating with our federal and local partners on this matter, including our colleagues across the Hudson. Adams, in the meantime, says the city is exploring all of its legal options, including getting the NYPD involved, and is encouraging New Jersey municipalities to implement similar executive orders. We're going to be extremely uh, calculative in how we do it, utilize our manpower resources, utilize our, uh, our executive orders powers uh, to not just be stagnant. And we coordinated and communicated with the municipalities in the area. And they should all do the same, EO. Governor Hochul, who hasn't always seen eye to eye with Mayor Adams over the migrant crisis, even voiced her support. With respect to the uh, New Jersey situation, I absolutely support uh, what the mayor did. I thought it was made sense. Uh, and also, you know, it may be necessary for our neighboring states to do the same. Texas Governor Greg Abbott, who has been sending the buses to sanctuary cities like New York and Chicago, told Fox News the sheer hypocrisy of these Democrat mayors knows no bounds. They are now going to extreme lengths to avoid fulfilling their self-declared sanctuary city promises, yet they remain silent as President Biden transports migrants all around the country and oftentimes in the cover of night. Mayor Adams and Governor Hochul have both been very vocal about this and criticized the federal government for not doing enough to support the crisis. Now, the White House did say just yesterday that it's been in touch with mayors and governors in the northern part of the country and will provide more resources if needed. For now, though, we're live here outside the Roosevelt Hotel. Dana Tashani, back to you. Brielle, thank you so much.